today is June 17th of 2024 and um, I'm sorry again for the late upload at least the Sun hasn't gone down yet um, I've been working on a project and I wish that I could tell you about this project but what I have learned and realized is that I can't give um, too much information ahead of time <clears throat> So, uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you, but I can tell you this, that um, God is good. He is so good. Like, He is so faithful. And um, this testimony, this story is, um, is going to be amazing. And, or is amazing. I'm not going to say is going to be. It is amazing. Um, because I can already see the end of this. And there's such a, um, how do I say this? There's such an excitement in my spirit um, that I cannot, I can't deny it. Like, again, I know it's so weird because I'm telling you I'm so excited about something that I can't share with you. But um, I just want you to know I have hope. And if you are just having a bad day today or feeling hopeless in any sort of a way, um, have hope. Have hope in God because He is the way maker. He is the person, not person because He's God. Um, he is the way and He makes a way where there is no way. And if I was to, like in my story of like events and everything like of my entire life, but definitely, um, ever from day one of everything happening. I mean, I could even go back, not even just day one of um, filing for divorce, but day one of um, meeting your father before we even had kids. Like, God was in this um, every step of the way. And I know it's hard to see anything you know, even before you guys were born. So, um, hold on a second. I'm going to pull my hair down. Now it's going to probably be super, super curly. Uh, I should probably go get a hair tie. But, um, I can just use this hair tie. I'm waiting outside right now because Hedy and I are going to go for a walk. We're going to go to the mailbox and get our mail. But, um, I... I'm just so excited, and again, I'm, this kind of sucks because I can't share anything with you guys yet, but um, just have hope and trust God. Like, I know it's so easy for other people to say, like, you need to trust God, like, if you're having a crappy day or everything seems like it could go wrong, and someone's trying to tell you, oh no, but have hope, have faith in God. I've been there, and I want to, like, tell him to shove it. Like, I am in such a deep, deep hole that I can't even see coming out of it. That when they tell me, you know, to cheer up or, or just trust that everything's going to work, work out okay, I always want to respond with, how do you know that? You know, like, what gives you, what gives you the, um, the right to speak that into my life because you don't know what's going on and I have to say that I um I've been there and I've had that where I'm like you have not been through anything like this before or even close to it and very few people have and actually come out and um and had hope in it or been able to share hope in any way. And I can say, um, without a shadow of a doubt, that one, I do have hope because I believe in the Lord, but two, I've seen His ways, and thank goodness I've been journaling and writing and praying and documenting all of this from day one, that it will be such a story of hope and faith in the Lord 
that can't be denied. And, and that's why I recommend you guys um, journaling um, or vlogging, even if you're just recording your stories or your thoughts and not sharing it with anyone. You know, um, well, one, it's going to be healthy for you because there's going to be, one, you guys have a lot of narratives. I'm sure swirling around in your mind, the narratives coming from your grandparents, um, narratives coming from extended family, narratives coming from your biological father. And, and then you have your own reality of what has happened and the truth. And that can be very difficult. In fact, it can create what's called a disassociation. And I think that's honestly where a lot of people end up in the future having mental health problems because they can't come to terms with what is reality and what is not. They've been playing along with um, pretending something that is not. Um, for the sake of surviving um, or pretending like it can go both ways and I'm not making any allegations or any accusations right now um, but I do know that there are narratives being tossed around and um, and I think it's really important that a person in order to keep their mental health to you know, journal what you know to be true. Journal these things, hide them away if you have to. Do voice recordings, whatever it is, because there's gonna be something inside you that will try and battle with the narrative that is being told to you from the outside. And that's where you end up having problems with, um, well, that is deception. When you are being told one thing, but you're like, but I know this other thing to be true. So what is true? You know, what what is true? And what I think and what I say, is that not truth? What I've experienced, is that not true? Is what someone else is telling me that I've experienced is that true or is what I know to be true, what I experienced, what I heard? Um, and actually this is kind of something we actually use in court. And that is, it is considered hearsay, meaning it actually was not firsthand experience. You did not touch it, you did not hear it, you did not see it, you did not taste it, and you did not smell it. If none of those senses, your five senses, if you did not hear, see, touch, taste, or smell, then you have a very good reason to question it because actually in a court of law, it would be thrown out as hearsay, meaning that testimony would get destroyed. It could not be used in a court of law. And so when someone is dealing with storylines or narratives, so they're being told one thing, but it does not, um, it does not add up with your five senses. And you're like, I didn't hear it, see it, touch it, taste it, or smell it. Then you in your own self should, and I understand, this is going to be a tough one. You should disregard it or table it put it in a filing cabinet a mental filing cabinet to say okay I will revisit that when I can get some evidence or proof that I heard um, all five of your senses right so that's your eyes ears nose mouth and touch so if none of those ever can confirm what it is that someone else is telling you, then you're not the one going crazy. It's actually the other person or the other people who are going crazy or they're mentally unstable. 
um, or and or so it could be both they're driving a narrative that fits them to keep them safe to keep them out of trouble um, whatever that is so again like the whole purpose to why I'm even talking about this right now is because God is good he is faithful and despite what I was doubting and had some unbelief and maybe questions or or yeah I mean ultimately I think questioning God in like does he have this right like I don't understand this just doesn't make sense why did these things happen and I don't have them um, we're gonna go to the mailbox he's checking on the keys um you know things that had happened over the past you know four or five years that I'm like why um, why did you know why did these things happen um, and now I'm to the point to that I know why they happened and I doubted it and it didn't make any sense when it did happen um, but now it makes complete and absolute sense and so I'm excited about it and I just want you guys to know I love you I care about you and I am doing everything I can one for truth two for justice and three that I can be your mother again that is very very important to me because you have a right to have your mother in your life absolute there's nothing there's no reason why I shouldn't be in your life so just want you to know I love you I'm gonna end with a prayer because I told you I'm gonna try and keep these um, videos shorter since I know that your you know your time may be limited when you can be watching these videos if you're able to watch these vides so Hadith just joined me do you want to say hi hi <laughs> okay <laughs> Um, Father God, Lord, I just thank you so much for, I thank you for all three of my kids, for Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. Lord, I thank you that they all play a significant role um, in one end times, your end time plan, but also a significant role to bringing repentance and salvation to those who are deceived. Lord, each and every one of us not just Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, but also, um, but also Hadid and I, and those who, you know, have chosen to surrender our life to you, Father. Would I ask that you please bless Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, and that you reveal to them, Lord, even as I share my excitement with them about what is happening in my life and what will be happening in their life lord i pray that you will reveal things to them to give them hope lord if if they are questioning um you or questioning circumstances um to having me in their life lord i pray that you will reveal to them the truth Lord, um, I ask for a supernatural um, revelation of truth, Lord, as the spirit of truth is within them. Lord, I thank you for dreams and visions. I thank you, um, Lord, for reuniting us soon. And we thank you for bringing everything to the surface, Lord, and we pray for salvation of everyone involved. We thank you, Father God, and may your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. In your heavenly name, amen. I love you guys. God bless you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.